Hey, good evening, good evening, everyone. Yeah, welcome back to this channel. This is the Bonaya Abo case, and this is Saturday night. This is 10 p.m. You know, the scripture says that it is men ought always to pray and not to faint. So every Saturday weekly, we come together on this platform and we engage God in the place of prayer. It's been an awesome, awesome time for myself, for my family, for my wife. It's been a very, very marvelous time. You know, these are times that we come to engage with the Divinity, we come to intermingle humanity with divinity so that the, the results will be divine. Our results will be divine. And tonight is another another one of, um, of such nights, and we are here once again. Um tonight, you know, we started a series like two weeks ago. So we've done spiritual warfare part one, spiritual warfare part two. And you know, last week while we we're praying towards the end of the prayer, you know, something came into my spirit about a family flow. You know, something flowing in your family line, in the family line of some persons. You know, and you know, I encourage people to pray about it. But you know, during the week the Holy Ghost began to nudge me towards it that we should engage on this matter this week that's today so he began to nudge my heart that you know you know beyond people praying individually about that some persons may need direction some person may need you know a, a, a level of guidance a level of light you know to be able to deal with the issue so that's what we are going to be dealing with today you know you know dealing with family flow negative family flows you know or what, what um, people call um negative family patterns you know is it, it comes from the place of of your understanding but before we go in, into that um there are some persons that don't believe in the in family patterns in negative family histories or patterns as it were so they are like ah we are new creation we are new creatures in christ and all of that so there is nothing in my family and all of that and you know that you are a new creature in christ does not mean that there's nothing in your family line line you know we'll get um back to that but let's look at scriptural references and see us or, or Bible characters and see if we can trace a family pattern in some of the characters in the Bible. And our first um, part of call will be Abraham. You know, we see Abraham lying about Sarah, his wife, you know, that Sarah is his sister and not his wife. And that, you know, came down to Isaac. Isaac did the exact same thing that his father did without even, maybe not even knowing that his father did such a thing. So that was a family trend that started in or from Abraham and went down to his son Isaac you know there's also the the, the trend of um, barrenness Abraham Isaac and you know he went that way too and then in the life of Moses we see that Moses one of the um, witnesses of Moses was that he had anger issue, issues he had anger issues you know the first time you know he saw an Egyptian, you know, maltreating an Israelite, and he struck the Egyptian to death. The other time, God told him, um, strike the rock, um, or speak to the rock, and he struck the, the rock twice. The other time, he was coming down from the mount with, you know, you know, imagine that God came down physically and wrote on tables of stone for you and said, this are the commandments for Israel. And then the, the man, Moses, was coming down from the mount with tables of stone written with the hand of God or by the hand of God and he came and he saw the atrocities that the Israelites were committing you know down the mount and he broke those tables of stone what sort of anger will make a man to break tables of stone written by God that means he had a real anger issue so where was his anger issue coming from it was coming from levi remember that moses you know was from the tribe of levi and you know when you read the story in genesis you see that you know levi also had anger issues it was levi and simeon his brother that went and slew all the men in in, in, a, in a particular um settlement or community for defiling their sister because their sister was defied so they went and slew every man in that city you know when when you read genesis chapter 49 when jacob was you know blessing his his sons when he came to simeon and levi in genesis chapter 49 verse 5 to 7 he talked about their anger he says that they 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 slew men and then they um they hamstrung an ox by their anger so this was a an issue an issue in their life 
they had anger issues and Jacob caused their anger and we see that some generations down the line a man from the tribe of Levi was you know was having anger issues so we see that these things you know was passed down the bloodline so all through the scripture we see some characters that you know that that experienced the the the, the um the negativities of family patterns do you understand so these things are real so you may be there and wondering okay now we are new creatures in christ now we know jesus do family patterns also play out in our lives as believers now i'm going to um, give you a wisdom there is what we call um the vital the legal aspect of redemption and the vital aspect of redemption now the legal aspect of redemption deals with what jesus has done in the cross do you understand it deals with everything okay for example jesus died on the cross he said for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life so it means that the legal aspect of redemption is that god gave his son jesus and he died on the cross for the sins of the world do you understand so legally the whole world is saved legally the whole world you know the 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 sin the 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 penalty for sin for the whole world has been paid but has everyone in the world come to the to that to that is everyone in the world saved no because not everyone has entered into the vital aspect of redemption so when we talk about the legal aspect of redemption, it talks about what Jesus did on the cross. Then when we talk about the vital aspect of redemption, we are talking about what he did, you know, becoming active in our lives, becoming activated in our lives. So Jesus um, um, can settle a matter legally but vitally it is not yet your experience so prophetically it is your experience it is yours but legally it is not yet your experience do you understand so he said for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son legal aspect done and dusted he now says so that whosoever believeth in him that's the vital aspect he's saying whosoever believes in him will come into the vital you know we will we, 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 we'll come into the um, um the experience of what jesus has done on the cross so whosoever believes in jesus will have everlasting life that means whosoever does not believe in jesus will not have everlasting life even though he see his the penalty for his sins have been paid for over 2000 years ago do you understand the point so all through the scripture the promises of god the blessedness found in christ found in the grace of our lord jesus christ they are all prophetic you know they are prophetically yours but they may not be your experience they will not become your experience until you enter them until they become activated in your life and how do you activate them simple the same way you activated your your um your salvation romans chapter um chapter 10 from verse 9 he says for with the mouth you know um 9 to 10 say for with the mouth man sorry for with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation so there will be a believing so there is there needs to be a light a light about that circumstance turning in your heart so with the heart man believes unto righteousness so when light when revelation dawns on your heart there is light in your heart and that you know brings you to righteousness and he say with the mouth confession is then made unto salvation for you to be saved so it is righteous to know but your salvation will come when you declare them do you understand your your the the, the salvation you are seeking for you know will come at your utterance so what we are going to be doing tonight is really simple. We are going to be receiving light about what Jesus has done concerning family patterns and then we are going to be speaking. He said, for with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And tonight you will receive your salvation. You know, for some persons it's like a, a the negative family pattern is, is, is like is that, you know, the men of that family never cross a certain age range or age. So, for example, Bishop T.D. Jakes, he had that family, negative family pattern playing out. So, his grandfather was a minister of the gospel and he, you know, they never crossed 42. So, his grandfather died 
before he got to 40, they, they either get 42 and die or before they get 42, they develop a heart, a heart problem and die. So his grandfather, you know, you know, suffered that, that, that plight. His father suffered that plight and then when Bishop T.D. Jakes was getting to 40, 41, he began to develop symptoms of heart, um, heart, heart, heart issues. Do you understand? So that was a negative family pattern that if he did not break, will still flow down to his son. So what you don't deal with as a parent, what you don't deal with as a human being, you will pass to your next generation. So what did Bishop T.D. Jakes do? He began to study and then he began to speak. On one hand, he was engaging his spiritually, so he was dealing with the negative uh, family history. He was, he was, he was activating the, the the work of the cross in his life in that dimension. And then on the other hand, he began to exercise. He began to you know work out and all of that, and he is still alive up to this very moment. He has since passed. He has since crossed forty-two. So. What is that negative family history? For some persons, it, it, it may be that you know there are late marriages in the family. So you know, ladies get to 36 before they marry. It's a negative family pattern. For some persons, it may be that um 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 they they never get to the apex of their destiny. They never cross a certain level of finances. Do you understand? So you know, it's as though they are moving forward, they are moving forward, and then when they are getting to a certain level. You know they just peck at that limit and they never cross over for some persons is there are a lot of missed you know your father with there you are ah, there was this great opportunity that was so close to it but i didn't had it been i hit that opportunity we would not be here and you've begun to see you, you you've begun to see some some of those threats in your life it, it is time to deal with those things because if you don't deal with them do you understand even though you have been saved vitally even though you've been redeemed from them vitally but in your um legally but in your experience you will not be you will not see the reality they will not be made tangible in your life so he says that um, um, um in the fullness of time you remember that the scripture says that the lamb of god was slain from the foundations of the world or even before the foundations of the world but the, the scripture says in the book of john chapter one he said then in the fullness of time you understand? The world became flesh. So that was the tangibility of what was done centuries ago. So even though the lamb was slain, do you understand? He was slain before the foundations of the world. Yet he had to come vitally. He had to become tangible. He said the world became flesh and tabernacled amongst us. And then that, that was the initiation of the vital aspect of that promise. Do you understand? So you must understand these things yes you have been transformed in your spirit yes your spirit has been changed but you know this reality has to dawn upon your soul and then play out in your body so he says um we are new creatures he said whoever is in christ jesus is a new creature all things have passed away now he's talking about your spirit man your spirit man so that reality is in your spirit man but your soul is not saved your body needs to come into that realm too do you understand so what you need to do is to allow that which is in your spirit to flow down because if what is in your spirit does not flow down into your soul it will not be made manifest in your body so even though it's a reality in your spirit it will not it will not play out in your body so even though good health is a reality in your spirit, if you don't allow it to flow down in your soul, into your body, your body will still suffer sickness. Even though prosperity is a reality in your spirit because your spirit has been changed. Do you understand? Jesus has paid the price. Say, the, um, the, the, um, the scripture speaking says that um, he, was, he, was, um, 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 he was made poor so that through his poverty will become rich. Do you understand? So even though that has been done and it it's, 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 it's prophetic it's um it's, it's, it's something that is tangible in your spirit man if it does not if you don't allow it to get into your soul it will not play out in your body so you still be suffering in your body while the 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 that um that uh um that element is 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 real in your spirit man do you understand so what i'm trying to say is that tonight you must be willing to allow light to dawn on your soul and then to give voice to the light to give voice to the light in your soul so we'll, we'll go to the scripture and you know we'll just read the one scripture you know one scripture is enough 
you don't need multitude of scriptures. Yes, the scripture says in the, the matter of two or three witnesses, a matter is settled. But let me tell you, one word from God that enters your soul can transform your life en- entirely. You don't need multitude of scriptures. One word. What you just need scriptures, many multitude of scriptures to do is to is to settle the matter in your heart. In your heart because of your of your of of uh of the level of doubt we have in our heart so we need several scriptures okay the scripture says this here it says this there so uh so it there's it begins to convince you as it were it begins to transform your soul to transform your mind but actually what you need is one word one word one word one word so we're going to be reading one scripture revelation chapter 5 revelation chapter 5 Oh, this is a friend that's in couple of tennis. Renosh and Tequila, Oros and Tifre Ekipa Handelish, and Kopeka and Nesia Toveleta. Oh, Jesus, Seprenosha. Just begin to worship God tonight. Begin to give Him the praise. Begin to give Him the glory. Let your worship rise. A little frenzy. A couple of nesh and talk up and test in novelia. Let your worship rise. Let your worship rise. And then to lebre de ketela. Morosie gete getele maranosha. Let your worship rise. Let lunse. Iverenesia. You have come before the one. The sude re inko prenifre endosh and koalagade. You have come before the lover of your soul. You have come before the one that loves you too much. Jesus, you love us. You love us so much so much oh jesus you love us can you express your heart express your love unto the one that is seated upon the throne express your heart unto the one that reigns eternally express your heart unto the one that rules in the affairs of men oh the one that rules in the affairs of men the one that sits upon the throne and laughs upon the, the feeble plans of the enemy. Kabala no gen teleba. Recopre ne veleto. Zele tendo penovre telete. Recopre le nisha. The one that is for us. The one that thinks about us. Oh, je te le merusia. Dos entomorum te. Recovise lo do vele ne manata. Ele me no gen teru kabalata. When you look into your life, you see the wonders of the Lord. When you look into your life, you see the mercies of the Lord. When you look into your life, you see the faithfulness of of the Lord. Uh, can you lift up your voice tonight? Uh, lift up your voice tonight. Uh, lift up your voice tonight uh, and say, Lord, I thank you. Uh, Lord, I thank you. Uh, Resule Gande, Je Gudele Marande, Resune Pele Vene Gudele Geteha. Lord, I thank you. Uh, Resodo Bolo Frencia Tole Bendo Je Gade, Recopre Neza, Luca Barande, Lizardo Frehende, Rababa Bangigo, Diego de Lemano, Genere Sune. Beleta, ele receive anata for your faithfulness, for your mercies. Oh, ma zinto, no venende, luku gunde, le gabarande, nuse le vene, jende ne vene, suze veleta. For all the things you have done in our lives, for all the things you have wrought in our hearts. And in our lives, uh, Lord, we we'll say thank you. In our families, in our marriages, we we'll say thank you. Uh, we give you the praise. Uh, our heart magnify you, O oh God. Uh, our heart magnify you, O oh God. Recopre te perenos getelene. Rakali prenofre te beleta. Genene merusa varamna. In son of bene menos ke beleta. Reproventos ke beleno gento coprenaha. Recopele ne ventos ke beleta. In non o menekiano boloto veletiano melete yagate. Debeleta balata, le meno no jini vidia gebaram tere de rapalata, reke belene se beleti ane, mini vidia ki vidia to bolo to belete hage, loto molo do mojia te beleta ya. Go ahead and worship the Lord tonight, le parano se veila to jenia, reku de la vano si belenia tu be kuale kentos ke beleta. Oh Jesus, me su se vento no belete, reku beleno ja we did not beg you. Father, we did not beg you, God, uh, to send your son Jesus, uh, but you were thinking about us, uh, you were planning for us, uh, you were orchestrating the way, the path for us. Uh, oh, gee, oh, come and tell the Russia that Jesus, keep a rose every time a ring of bell in her, recom bell and then shut her. Menesina, we are Gombre, we are Matinzia, we are inscribed uh, in the palms of your hands, uh, we are the people of your pastor, we are the 
the the the the the the the the the sheep of your pasture. We are the people of your hands, Lord. Aliyashiata, your eyes are upon us. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for you are a good God. We thank you. We do not doubt your goodness. We do not doubt your goodness. We do not doubt your love upon us. He says. He says. The scripture says. Oh, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us. What manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us. The love originated from the Father. What manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us. The love originated from the Father. What manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us. That we should be called the children of God. That we should be called the children of God. What manner of love. What manner of love. The love came from the Father. The love came from the Father. The love that you that you love God back with is the love that He has loved you with. Do you understand? The love is of the Father. The love is of the Father, and we are, and we are. He, he, he has poured that His love upon us. Jesus, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, we have worshipped. Amen and amen. So we are reading the Scripture, Revelation chapter five. And we we'll start reading from verse um, from verse eight. He says, "And when talking about the lamb, I said, and when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vines or incense or, or um, golden censers." full of incense which are the prayers of saints now let me stop here to tell you something your prayers are not wasted they are collected in a golden censer and then they are burned and the aroma goes up to god so your prayers don't allow the enemy to deceive you your prayers are not wasted they are being collected they are being collected and when your censer is full Aleka. The scripture says, if the clouds be full of rain, they will pour down upon the earth. So your season is coming when your cloud will be filled with rain as a result of the prayers you've offered. So every prayer you're offering is you putting rain in your clouds. And when your clouds are full of rain, they will pour down upon your life. Upon your life. So your prayers, your prayers, hear me well, hear me clear. Your prayers, your prayers are not wasted. Not at all. So he said, which are the prayers of the of the saints? Verse 9. And they sung a new um song, right? Say <laughs> Alessia. He said, Thou art worthy to take the book. And to open the seals thereof. For thou was slain. Talking about the dead. You know, they are building their their um their revelation as it were. He said, For thou was slain. So it is as a result of his death that what we're about to see happened. He says, For thou was slain and has redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred out of every tongue out of every people out of every nation so uh, like, yeah, let's one more verse verse 10 and has made us unto our god kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth so they were building a revelation and they said for thou was slain so your dying on the cross is what made this a reality he said, For thou was slain and has redeemed unto us, and has redeemed us out of every tribe or kindred, out of every tongue, out of every um, nation and people. So, what is that saying to us? It means that <laughs> by reason of the death of Jesus on the cross, you have been separated from your family line. Ah, yeah, Kalibadosha. 
Kito Zizefrenia, you have been separated from your family. I say you have you have taken us out of every kindred, talking about every family unit, every family, every family line, kindred, out of every tongue, out of every language, out of every community of people that you know that have similar traits, out of every nation. It was expanding out of every every nation. So by reason of the death of Jesus and your faith in that death. Do you understand? Your family line goes back to one person. God. So, this is the kind of revelation or light that you must have. And then from this light, you speak. Because if you have this light and you don't speak, the, the cycle is not complete. He said, we, having the same spirit of faith, he said, we believe and therefore we speak we speak we believe and therefore we speak so there must be a speaking for the cycle to be complete say whosoever shall say unto this mountain there must be a saying there must be a saying do you understand so he said for you have redeemed us out of every kindred out of every family you have established us unto our god as kings and as priests so your family line goes back one generation to god so with that understanding, you begin to utter, you begin to separate yourself from every natural family system. Kabbalantish and Toprete Kabbalata. Schizophrenia, Jekopelene, Schizophrenia. I want you wherever you are, shut your eyes right now. Shut your eyes and focus. Begin to, you know, to a messier teneka, le comperusia, elontish e coprenia. You have come to cut yourself out. Le resie tenemosh in coprena ha ha. Le resuse fra. You are with the sword, the word of God. You are with the sword, the word of God. You are with the sword, the word of God. Ha. Le kenesia and with the word, the sword in your hand. You begin to cut yourself out of every negative family pattern. In the name of Jesus, go ahead right now. Zete nube rekedene esude lemana sheku peratus every atania resieta. You are declaring in the name of Jesus. Ha, I wounds and the wound the egede resune elumba akayande esude lepaha resude balata. I separate myself from every negative family tie and every negative. Flow in my family, I declare Manush and Tuneve Resuse Fretonama Lekete it ends. It will not play out in my life. In the name of Jesus, I put an end to it right now. By the blood of the Lamb, I declare I have been separated. Resune Lekupe Nakaina. And as a king and as a priest, I speak. You know, kings and priests, they have their they are speaking people. They say where the word of a king is. There is authority, there is power. Parasule Kayano, can you release power via, via your words? As a priest and as a king, I stand and I declare Resudelekwa Merenisha. Every family flow dries up right now in the name of Jesus. They will not play out in my life. I deaden them, I kill them right now. Resudebe, Leno Gente Kapaha, negative family path. Tansa reprenus and tunopaha le ne no sha guande esuneha ne menose recubeleta bele no jeta release your grip upon my life right now in the name of Jesus I rebuke now now what we are going to be doing now you know you are going to be rebuking the spirit there are spirits behind family patterns do you understand it is it is it is spirits that engender them do you understand so you are going to be rebuking the spirit in charge of the negative family pattern in your life and begin to rebuke that spirit right now say in the name of jesus oh shaka i submit myself to god and i stand as a priest and as a king and and I declare you spirit uh, that is propagating negative family history, negative family pattern in my life. And um, I rebuke you now in the name of Jesus out of my life, uh, in the name of Jesus out of my space, uh, in the name of Jesus, you will not be made manifest. Uh, your activities will not be made manifest in my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, 
requiring son of melete, Leneneja, Rectacape, Lon Souven Tenema, Le Manosha, let marriages, I kill you in the name of Jesus. The spirit of lying, I deaden you in the name of Jesus. Dying at a particular age, I kill you in the name of Jesus. Lemano, not in my life, not in my life. Berusila umperusie le kuteneka le nushatea resunia. Having children out of wedlock, it has become a pattern. Is it a pattern in your in your family? Having children out of wedlock, you know you are you know people just make up their mind. But you know, the Mosha still have one or two babies out of wedlock. This is the time to deal with that negative family pattern and say no more in the name of Jesus. Not in my life, not in my life. I deaden you now in the name of Jesus. Menesuso Okobe, Resude Lekana, Velentunch and Tuku Belege, Rukutuku Tukede, Melendo Senoa, Reproof and Nessie Tonomaga, Eleke do Sunomende, Rus Ente. Menos ento benoja recopelia. The fire is burning. The fire is burning. Is consuming those patterns. It's is consuming uh, those patterns, uh, those activities of negative spirits uh, in the name of Jesus. Manson compen compentes que tendos que bidi recope penus que tu vente que te loco penenegen toro velete ragadenso no velete renonci vina tono benga dons de neca recope le venenosiete menenogen te venuria coberda revidi con velenose vende no bondo vende que tus que movonde la convenerendo. Scavile no genderua, Rocomene de Sailon Vendequa, Leno Siena, Reprove the Tomene Cainonde, Lono Mendeziano Verena, Lomo Shailo, Recano, Penos in Sono Maquana. Roar in the spirit, roar in the let your let your roar be head, let your roar be head, let you ma kaidon zene guandesha, let your roar be head, you are a lion, let your roar be head, let your roar be head, renon side of feno, rekede sonovela, monovente scovela, resun de veleno, jegando zida vene, reprovendes caminonde, vondons caminonde, ragadons and vundene gova, reno monovente con bele con. British Kaba, Redon Vendanzi and Don Banden Gendons Gendona, Revono Mendonzi Malana, not again, Menon Jena, Resune Venaha, not being able to cross a certain level of finances, a certain level of wealth, Majutenemha, Mesunia, it does not flow, Emanoja, Resuna, I stop the flow, I stop the flow, in the name of Jesus, I stop the flow, Resuneha, Pelenoje and Rus and I stop the flow. I stop the flow. Resedo fenete me compe compe lonoja. Esie tene mene kaha. Ah, re de 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 de. Re de 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 mono mo gen te ke pela ka. They are releasing. They are releasing. They are. Re That's what I see in my spirit. Uh. They are releasing their grip upon us. They are releasing your grip. They are grip. Uh. They are releasing the negative spirits. Uh. They are releasing their grip. Let's shine up. I know see Italia. The blood is against you. Uh. The blood is against you. Uh. The blood is against you. Resalon penon gente goa. Retene meneha. In the name of Jesus. Uh. Be gone. Resondo vendo siedo. Lemon Shengan Duruseila Varamde Menosi Velotonia in the name of Jesus be gone Masonto Belen Jerem Doris of Vele Ragadon Zeno Velaha Meshakatala Baha E Shantaki Doha O Zisefranda Kalia de de Bonje Fente Kranisha So friend de Kalia Aya Aya Yes 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 Father we thank you Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. You know, you must learn to deal with negative spirits. With negative spirits. You must learn. It's a continuous thing. It's a continuous thing. The enemy will, will you know, will forever come back to check. You know, after, after the devil tempted Jesus, the scripture says he left him for a season looking for another opportunity to come back so these spirits 
I'm talking, I'm talking generally now. Spirit, you know, you know, um, 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 darkness will continually try to invade your life. So you must learn that habit of consistently resisting the devil in several aspects of your life, and he will continue to run. So you, you must learn to put the devil to fight. Put the devil, put the devil on the run in your life and in your family. So in the name of Jesus, I declare over you, let the cloud of God's glory saturate you right now in the name of Jesus. Every negative family pattern, every negative family flow is stopped in your life in the name of Jesus. I declare the flow cease now in the name of Jesus. The flow cease now in the name of Jesus. The the key is soon there. Le rushie ka de siye tena. Jono file kombre nishia e sizi kala gadishia. I see someone you are turning from red to green. I think it means you know the negative family flow of death is changing in your life. Is changing in your life. Whatever it means, whether it's physical death, death of finances, you know, that, or that situation, that negative family pattern is turning to a green. Father Lord, we thank you. She pakwantes in so friendia. She tumbeleta pa suze friendish in kopekandes yeta. I declare over everyone right now, as we enter the second month of year 2022. I declare everywhere green up in the name of Jesus. Let there be productivity everywhere. Let there be increase everywhere. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. And let's see Suprenish and Tuvela Krenisha. Susoprenia, Lekuprenia. I see fruits everywhere. Fruits everywhere in your life in the name of Jesus. In your marriage, in your relationship, in your finances, in your career. Fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise. Be thou exalted, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Thank you very much for joining tonight. I believe you had a wonderful time. And, you know, I, I, I strongly believe that some things have been dealt with tonight in your life and in my life. To God be the glory. Thank you for joining. See you next week, Saturday, 10 p.m. GMT plus one for another time of prayers thank you god bless you and to have a lovely night rest bye mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.